Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913 and we're let's playing Dragon Quest 7 or Dragon Warrior 7, whatever. And in the last episode we started through the Dharma sh temple underneath the shrine to get to the temple. Oh, more battles. There's actually, the, the encounter rate is rather high considering so far. I mean, the encounter rate hasn't been so high so far, but now it's actually like bumping up a little bit. And look at that, more money, hooray. And so let's go here and through here. Gotta heal up Gabo. Yeah, we gotta be getting close to something, jeez. I hope the shrine is around here, god. Alright, more gold. We'll need it for the next area. Because there's a shop I'd like to buy some stuff at. Alright, use that on Mary Bell. And, okay, you guys got nothing to say even though, look how pretty it is, all kinds of water and everything. Now where are we? The arena? What the frig? How much more do we have to go to get to the get to the shrine? We went through a cave, into a town, into another cave, <coughs> into another cave slash temple area. Anyways, we want to buy the steel sword, and if you have enough money, buy the iron <coughs> armor and the captain's hat if you want. But I'm gonna buy just the steel sword, <coughs> and you're gonna want to buy now because it won't be here later. But don't worry, we'll we'll find it we'll find it again later. These items again later. <clears throat> so don't worry about it. Oh, and if you're not and if you don't have those magic robes, the evade cloth will work as well. So now here we are at the damn arena. You figured they could have put the arena in another area and it was you know, but hey, they wanna throw everything they could at <coughs> excuse me, into the Dharma Shrine area. Well, I guess it's alright, because you gotta get your jobs, and then uh, as soon as you start mastering some jobs, you can whip this game's butt. So let's heal up and find out what's going on. I'm gonna explain how the arena works eventually, if you haven't noticed, we're, act we're gonna end up being in the arena. Basically, you need a party of four. Sadly, because Kiefer's not around, we can only, uh, we only have three people. And so, yeah, you have yourself the, the save point thingy. <clears throat> and here's Kasim. Yeah, so, no. You need four people, and then you fight monsters and people. People with a group of monsters. Hey, there's that pink guy. That jerk Ragnar. He's the jerk version of him, except worse. Oh, so Neris is here. And she's gonna try to extract her revenge on you. Because you're a jerk. Yeah, he was the warrior. He must be pretty far up the mountain. Anyways, let's just look around some more. Grab more crap, why not? And hooray, a scale armor. Oh, so that's why she did it. That doesn't seem like her at all. Oh, he just pissed his pants? Don't try to joke us with sweat. It was PP, wasn't it? That guy's a gross bastard. Pee in his pants. I thought he was supposed to be a fighter. He's got the bladder of a three-year-old. Anyways, I don't even think three-year-olds piss themselves anymore. He's pretty. He's got a brat bladder of a one-year-old. Let's just leave it at that. Anyways, yeah, so... Arena, you gotta win like six matches or something. And then they'll actually let you go up to the shrine. Isn't that amazing? We'll finally be able to get up there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, maybe we can have a revolt and start and start doing some stuff here, you know. We gotta rage against the machine, if you know what I mean. That kinda rhymes. Uh yeah, sure. Oh, that's why they robbed of us of our power. To help the Demon Lord. Now another... But the Demon Lord is dead, I thought. So yeah, now Flower's up here. 
Yeah, he probably would. Well, that's what a thief does. I mean, they stay alive. So yeah, the door is shut. So we're gonna have to, uh... <clears throat> we're gonna have to talk to Neris over there. See what the... F Maybe we can snap her out of her... Out of her rage. And her angry streak. But let's check up here. This actually reminds me of, uh... Of, uh... Dragon uh, Quest 4 a little bit here. You know, but Elena was fighting by herself. She was a cool person. And so, yeah. The Soul Sword basically sucks away your powers. Even if you become really strong, it makes you crazy. So, let's, uh, yeah, you, you can even talk to the monsters. And there you go. Anyone else? Nope. Now let's talk to Neris. Let's talk to her and see what the dealio is. Hey Neris. Look, see your brother's fine. Oh, so she's got a soul sword too. Hey. She must be under uh, that the soul sword's power just like Zaji was. Oh, and look at that, a scorpion stops him. Oh, look at that. Look at Zaji, what a baby. Well, actually he's not a baby. He's just a boy. Who loves his sister. Oh. So, she's kind of the champ, isn't she? Because that pink guy won't... <clears throat> that pink guy won't uh, go fight, I guess. Hey, Zaji. <clears throat> no, he's got to enter the tournament. But there's not... Any, he's only one man. He needs a couple of people to enter. And Kasim and Flower ain't going to help him. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Actually, he's not a bad party member. Uh, if, you know, uh, five second spoiler. He's gonna join us. Yeah, we need to get up there. We need a uh, fourth guy. Why don't you help us? And we'll help you get your sister back. It's a win-win. <clears throat> Yay, Zaji's in our group. He's actually pretty good. Yeah, he knows the bang spell and heal more, and I think he knows, like, upper or increase or something, so he's a pretty good party member. And his attack isn't too bad either. So, with us in tow, we're gonna take, or Zaji in tow, we're gonna take on, <clears throat> we're gonna take on the arena. Now, this might look familiar to some people who have played Dragon Quest Monsters. Because of the formation, I guess. I mean, not us, the, uh, the other guys. So the first guy we gotta take on is Nepro and his Drakey Slimes. Or Drax Slimes, whatever the hell. And basically, now that we have our skills back, let's use them. You sleep on the old uh, Drake Slime, sure, why not? Sleep actually works kind of more effective than any other. Uh, what the hell is it? Any other game? <clears throat> and with these bosses, jeez. Throws bottom. And uh, yeah, nothing too ne uh, Nepro. Since he is the first guy, what are you gonna do? He's not too difficult. And look at that, a critical. Take that. And since we have those magic robes on, um, we actually take hardly any damage from magic because. Like I said, it takes away about 30, it negates like 30 points of damage. So, Gabo and Marybelle probably won't be hit with magic for a little while. Unless someone uses a pretty powerful attack. And that's why I was uh, uh, stressing to get those robes or cloths or whatever the hell they are. <clears throat> and I know I'm going to have to cut this episode a little short. But in the next episode, we will continue with the tournament. Or the arena. See ya. Bye-bye.